Hi guys, this is my setup of smart grid system in my house. So, this is the main unit, Daikin Altarma 3. Over there, this is the LAN adapter from Daikin. And this unit is uh, directly from Solar Edge, which is the provider of my inverter. Uh, and this unit is steered by Zigbee signal from the inverter and it provides an SG0 or SG1 signal to my LAN adapter from Daikin. Actually, this is Solar Edge dry switch and this is Smart Grid adapter from, from uh, Daikin. So this unit is connected to Daikin Altarma 3 through P1 and P2 uh, and this uh, Zigbee dry, dry switch is connected to the LAN adapter from Daikin. It provides an SG0 and SG1 signal uh, SG0 signal is actually the one you want. SG1 is just for my test purposes. Actually, uh, I have added a manual switch to, to disable it completely or to enable it by own. Uh, how is it steered? Uh, you need to provide the signal to NL here and when this Zigbee unit, the smart switch, is green. It means it has an excess energy and its switch SG0 and SG1 signal, actually only SG0 signal, which is then going to LAN adapter. Right. Uh, the condition is the unit runs or accepts the SG0 signal only, only when the heating on the unit or even cooling in the unit is switched off. You can see now it's gray. It's, it's a gray. Uh, what I have done practically, I have disabled it manually in the unit but in the future I want to add an automatic switch which will, which will be controlled by an home automation called OpenApp. Uh, what you can do, you can switch it off or switch it on with a simple on-off thermostat and this will do practically almost the same thing as my uh, future switch which will be controlled over home automation. Um, I have added also a Madoka remote controller. Uh, uh, yeah, now it's switched off. I have dismantled it, but uh, it can operate in two modes. One is just an, like an external display for the water pump so you will see some information in this external display or it can even work as a thermostat the normal one you can see here is a uh, temperature probe and it should switch off the Altarma 2 so, as if I remember correctly, there are three settings in the unit in the Daikin LAN adapter manual. You can have uh, underfloor heating steering, so uh, on the backwater. Then the second option is actually this uh, Madoka um, thermostat. Or the third option is a simple on-off thermostat which I haven't tested now, but uh, yeah, the third option should work.
completely.